So, people sometimes ask me, what exactly is the Snipes show? I don't know. <laughs> so the Snipes show is this goal I had for myself at the beginning of the year. I said, every month I'm going to create an episode of this weird series, and I'm going to do it completely by myself. Well, that didn't quite work because it became apparent early on that the actors were doing all the talking for me. It's really cool how their personalities were able to mold to the plots better than I ever could have myself. This here is episode 5, the beginning of an extended story arc we're trying to do. Make sure to catch the rest of it on The Lansdowne Show, available both on BCPS TV or YouTube. Good morning, Vietnam! This is Tommy with your premier reptilian television station. Thanks for tuning in. Today we've got a sonata of snipe followed by an hour of hubris and humor. It's a brand new day, so let's get it started off right. And yes, that was a movie reference. And it's from these hallowed ashes of our forefathers that we will forge a new government based on the time-honored traditions of plutocratic rule. We will stomp our enemies... See everyone, isn't watching television together fun? Bah, he's not my president. Eh, uh, what do you mean? I mean, I'm not a naturalized U.S. citizen. I still pledge my political allegiance to Australia. Do snakes even have citizenship rights? Ugh, I'm thirsty. Tershon, do we have any more sodas? I don't know. You can go check. I believe in treating all people with due respect. The basis of manufacturers within our great nation... Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'd do anything for a soda. Lisa! Ah! Lizzie! I thought we saw the last of you back in Oklahoma! Lizard. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Lizard, 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 lizard,
You can't drive. I can't drive. <laughs> Just as well. This is awkward. Why do you even own a car if you can't drive? He was a very convincing car salesman. What? You know, there's just so many ways to get around without a car. Yeah. Like, you could take the bus. Ride a bike. Embark on a train. Fly a plane. Saddle a camel. Inflate a hot air balloon. Row a kayak. Hitch a ride on the intergalactic spiceway. Or we could, you know, just call an Uber. You have Uber? Yep. I use it all the time whenever I need to get somewhere. Uber. Get a ride and rescue your dimensionally exiled friend from a grocery store. Our heroes then embarked on a taxicab locomoted quest to find their long lost friend. Their search was unsuccessful. Hey, thanks anyway. Three hours and 60 bucks later, and we still haven't found Tina. Well, we checked every grocery store in town. Maybe we need to accept we'll never see her again. Hey guys, I'm back. Tina? Tina? How on earth did you get out? Oh, so, there I was, cowering in the Goya aisle, beginning to accept my new life among the chickpeas. But then, I looked over and saw the automatic opening doors. Oh, how they glistened in the sunlight like the pearly gates themselves. The walk home was the easy part after that ordeal. Oh, well, good to know you got out of there before anything bad happened. I bought 12 pounds of discounted chicken thighs. I am not eating nothing but chicken thighs for the next four days. Oh, oh come on, so I'm a bit prone to our monthly food thighs. budget. I, I said clearly, seen such a low price for chicken thighs. Thighs. I need a soda.